I'm so sorry. Hello everyone, this is Horizon Wireless. Today I will be showing you my Fredbear's Family Diner. It is now, oh, I would say 100% complete, but I might add in a few other things, like the secure, like, in my other maps I had the security cameras. Like, when an animatronic is in a room, they step on a pressure plate, and when they step on that pressure plate, a redstone lamp will light up in your office with a sign on it. You read the sign, that's where the animatronic is. So, this blue and um, dark blue design is meant to be um, from Five Nights at Freddy's 4, because in the little mini games that you play in between each night, he goes to what is most likely Fredbear's, because I don't think Golden Freddy would be standing outside of it if it was um, a Freddy Fazbear restaurant. So this is what um, Fredbear's plushy sprite looks like in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Well, it's not exactly the same, but it's close. I'm proud of it. Not meant to be a cat face, by the way. I wanted to have one of those cool glass doors, but I didn't want it to like be all ugly and make the building bigger than it needed to be. So this is basically, I like to call it the FedEx sand slash gravel door. Because FedEx used it, and he didn't make a tutorial on it. Some other guy did, but I, w I kept screwing up. So I combined his working blinds with a T flip with a silent T flip flop and a magic button. So here we go. Don't walk into that sand in its lowering animation or else you're gonna fall through. And if it's in its raising animation, you're gonna get pushed onto one of the sides. Alrighty now. This door may look better depending on using sand or gravel, depending on what texture pack you're using. I'm using plastic, and I, I like using sand and plastic, but gravel looks nice too. Now, this area right here is where the people come when they just want to eat. Yes, I completely, I based this partially off of FedEx's version of the diner, so, yeah. I changed it a little bit because the seats there weren't functional, and I changed the colors up a little bit. The one thing that annoys me is how stained clay is never the right color. I hate you so much, Mojang. In here is like a little employee's lounge with a big TV. That light will turn off the lights in the whole restaurant, but 4J hasn't fixed the lighting glitches we would get if we did that yet, so I'm going to wait for that. Here's the arcade area, and FedEx just had like the little Pac-Man machines. If my friend Dylan sees this, he's going to throw a temper tantrum when he finds out I didn't make, I didn't base any of these off of gauntlets. Sorry about the camera. I don't think I phone's good for a camera. Screw you, Apple. Anyways, you know, little joysticks. Didn't feel like doing that stuff with the sign that FedEx did. So yeah, this is supposed to be a um, pinball machine. The power rails are supposed to represent, like, you know, the things that the um, ball bounces through. The levers or the flippers, and that's the little computer screen you see. So yeah. Over here is the claw machine, the levers to move that little iron block, it doesn't actually move, but you, you get the point, the buttons to drop it, and the prize door is empty, and it's probably going to stay that way, because these, thi these things are money wasters. In here is like one of those huge, it can be like a roller coaster, it can be like, sort of like those dinosaur park games, like Jurassic Park, where you would go in and, uh... I have no idea what that's supposed to be a painting of. It's going to be something different on the default texture pack. But since I'm using plastic, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. It looks like something deranged just happened. Anyways, here's the prize corner with all the plushies and the cakes and pumpkins and stuff. Those, those heads are supposed to be plushies, I know. And in the fan-made game, uh... The marionette is there, so I added him in. You know, cute little marionette. Now, I made him three blocks tall, as opposed to... Oh my god. Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie being two blocks tall. Well, technically they're two and a half, because the stage is just made of spruce hack slabs. And one major thing that I changed is that the, ye that the white that used to be in this checkered pattern is now yellow. And where is that... Okay, that was weird. I thought the mine car wasn't there. So here's the show area. 
There's Fred Bear, aka Golden Freddy, Spring Bonnie. I didn't give Spring Bonnie eyebrows, even though in FNAF World Spring Bonnie does. But we're never gonna truly see Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie's original forms, unless you count the fan made game. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But all the seeds are functional. That's nice. Now, in here is the kitchen. I'm very proud of how the kitchen turned out. Got the nice little microwave, deep fryer. I'm talking British. Don't judge me. It's where they store the pots and pans. Big walk-in freezer. I added in a lamp because since the interior is four blocks high, I was able to put lamps in there. Because FedEx said that um, if you put torches near snow, you have to make them three blocks to keep it from melting. If you use glowstone, beacons, or lamps, I think it has to be four. Now, I'm really proud of how these turned out because if I take out some coal, I'm gonna take out two pieces. Oh, wait. As you can see, that starts smoking. But these are actual furnaces, so it can actually cook in there. Now, I didn't use, um, now you may know, yes, you can't push furnaces with a piston. Oh my gosh, I'm a hacker. You're gonna go hack me, blah, blah, blah. I didn't hack to do that. What I did was I put up some blocks with minecart tracks, pushed a furnace cart into into the furnaces, which there's soul sand under there so the carts don't move. Detector rails, hoods, little pantry, sinks. Here's a back door for the um, place, like where they get the deliveries and take them into the freezer. So yeah, that's kind of... Okay, back into the bathrooms. These are kind of similar, but I had to FedEx it a little bit. I put the beacons under the toilets, even though I said I hated that look. I put the urinals over here. I, yeah. And other than the fact that I changed the colors of the walls, the, there's actually nothing different in the women's room, except for those beacons, except for those beacons. In the employees only room, I decided that instead of having the spring bonnie head over there, I was going to recreate that scene from one of the mini games where you see Purple Man putting the um, spring bonnie head onto an employee. I wanted to recreate that. So here's one of the party rooms. All four of them are the same, except they might be mirrored. And I and if you remember in my, the last video where I had um, the vents be sealable, um, in just um, the office. I also have them sealable in um, here, which wasn't a smart idea because now if you if an animatronic's in there, they're stuck in there. And once you open it up in the office, they can get you. So I'm not sure if that was a smart decision. Now, uh, the office still works the same, except when I flip off the lights in the employee's lounge, the office lights will always stay on because I got a torch up there powering them all. And um, if the power to the rest of the building is cut off, these hall lights up here will stay on whenever this main door is opened. I'll show you that really quick. There's going to be lighting glitches, I know. And if you got a problem with it, Write a letter to your congressman. I'm really sorry. I'm going to try and fix as many of these glitches as I can. Because 4J is too lazy to fix it. And they won't give us anything good. And when they do, something ends up going wrong. Okay, the woman's room is good. I forgot to check in here. Oh, yeah. Went ahead and set the time tonight so that, that light wouldn't be so intense. So now it's all dark and creepy out there. None in there. Bleh. Bleh. Now some light's gonna get into these party rooms, but that's cause the light's in the hallway. As you can see, these are still on. When I flip up the lever, the vents opened up, so I'm gonna go through here. It's gonna get extremely dark. 
as you can see, no more lights. But there are more lighting glitches. I hate you, 4J. I mean, if it wasn't for 4J, I'd be, um, not be able to play Minecraft right now. And you guys would be seeing this diner. But they are way too slow with their updates. And they're a bit stingy. Like, they're not giving us custom skins. I don't know why that is. Although, like, like, da like downloadable maps, you can mod your own skins in, the sim in a similar way. But that's considered modding, and I don't mind modding, but... And they won't give us actual mods. I mean, they'd make more money that way if they, like, gave us optional content packs. My god, look at all these glitches. Fix this, 4J. Fix it. Alrighty, so... The vents don't have any lights, so there's no need to worry about that. And, yeah. So... I hope you guys enjoyed my two... And I'm gonna go outside and show you the top of the building. One last time. Actually, I never showed you the top of the building, so... What the heck? What the heck? <sighs> Tell me pistons aren't broken again. Let me test some real quick. Okay, it's not the pistons. Oh, now it decides to work. What the heck? <sighs> there we go. So there's cute little Fredbear. If I could add it so that his eyes followed you around like the little plushy Fredbear did in the uh, in Five Nights at Freddy's Ford or in the mini games, that'd be cool. So I put stone slabs up here and I used cobblestone for the actual roof. I might add, like, more stone slabs up here with, um, like, minecart tracks going in circles to make, like, air, like, AC units or something. So, yeah. That's all for today. This was Horizon Wireless, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye! Ah!